Let us yeah. continue on. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going to play Atomic Robo. Ow! Uh, yeah. Atomic Robo. Ow. Ow. Uh, action science and punching evil in the face. If you are not familiar okay. with the comic <laughs> book, hey, guess what? Uh, like a lot of comics these days, it's free online, AtomicRobo.com. Um, you can read the comic. This is a game that is adapted off of the comic by uh, Brian Clevenger and uh, I can't remember who else is on the cover. Um, Scott, Scott Wegener are the two like main brainchilds, and then Mike Olson was the developer uh, on the, I believe he's the developer on the actual rules for the book, uh, adapting this to Fate Core. So if you have never played Fate, uh, this is going to be an interesting or fun exposure to it. Uh, it is sort of a, uh, dare I say, generic universal role-playing system? Yep. No, it's just a great uh, all-around role-playing system that is very easily skinned out to a bunch of different genres, and they did a great job adapting the source material for Atomic Robo to this particular game. Um, the material we're using is from a demo <coughs> that I put together for uh, the Geek and Sundry, um, their little RPG extrava you know, board game extravaganza. Never heard we're of fortunate to be invited there. Um, but this is our own thing. Uh, so, with no further ado, uh, Atomic Robo is, is based on the fact, this is the whole premise of this thing is, uh, back in the day, Nikola Tesla invented a robot that was powered by nuclear energy. Technology far beyond what actually happened at the time. And that didn't uh, actually happen or did? It didn't actually <laughs> happen because the robot was also uh, self-aware and intelligent. Okay. Um, that robot decided to go on and become a citizen of the United States, and in order to do that, he had to go to Nazi Germany and fight Nazis. Mm -hmm. uh, and he continues his adventures uh, independently to this very day. So it does a lot of time travel, genre hopping, different periods of time. Uh, that is the world of Atomic Robo. He has assembled an elite squad of agents <coughs> around him who all help him fulfill his mission. Nice. So the characters that we have today are Special Agent Robo, dun dun dun, the man himself. Uh, don't be overly Minnesotan and go, well, I don't want to play the main dude. That's like... I will play the main woman. Whoa, wow. Yeah, wow. Okay, all right. She's a woman today. I mean, we're talking about a robot, okay? Yeah, Let's stop gendering robots. Yeah. yeah. Can we please? Can we please? Uh, I'm not going to oh, argue the canon on that too hard. Um, <laughs> all right, next up is Jenkins, Thanks. Tesla Dine's one-man army. <laughs> Did wow, you just wow. take it? Uh, I saw the name Jenkins. If you'd like to play a lady, Ada Birch is Tesla, Tesla Dine's chief Techie. Chief Techie. We have plenty of characters. Leroy um, Jenkins was in my WoW guild. He lives in Colorado. Really? Yeah. What? He, he was Is that true? In your yeah, no, the real yeah, Leroy Jenkins. He lives Jenkins. in Boulder, Colorado. The real Leroy Jenkins? The real Leroy Jenkins. Were, were you there when it happened? No, I was not. I, uh, no. Do you no, wish you were? No, I was four years old. What are you talking about, it, Tom? It, it kind of sucked for everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, uh, uh, everyone knew it was All right. Um, Big Six. Violet is a freak of science. Uh, this is a character oh, that, that I have fun. adapted. Uh, Big Violet is a cybernetic ape. Yes! Mm. Yeah. Oh shit, really? If you yeah. missed uh, uh. Beastmasters of Yagamore, you might feel like there's a theme going on with cybernetic apes. All right, the Sparrow 4 wow, is awesome. Britain's top agent. Britain's top agent. Oh, you could just talk in a British how accent. You, how can you, uh, whoever plays this character is gonna uh, go, <laughs> She loves that. Amy, <laughs> me, Amy. Oh yeah, I, huh? yeah, I don't, you know. What'd you say? I was just saying whoever plays this character is gonna be me, Amy, me, Amy. What does that mean? Oh that's God, really? Planet like of the Apes. No, Congo. It's oh, like the greatest right. Thanksgiving oh, movie ever. Oh, Same okay. Thing. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> next up is Bao Lang, Tesla Dine's second most dangerous employee. So Ooh, um, second, second, second place. most dangerous. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I like that distinction. Second to last, Phil Broughton is Tesla Dine's chief nuclear physicist. He knows about uranium, plutonium, Fuck yeah, war heavy forged. water, unstable isotopes, radiation, nuclear type stuff. You know how it works. Boom. Yeah. All right. And then finally, another playable character, Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. Oh! Oh, Sagan? oh boy. Wow. Actually, oh, man. Carl Sagan. Uh, I got a breath of my impression. Carl Sagan. Do you have a Carl uh, Sagan impression? It, it, it's really rusty. I mean, the fact that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, just, saying, it's just saying billions that. and billions. I don't know. No, no. It's Tyler. Well, you can work it in. Oh, crap. None of these right. characters yeah, are absolutely. None of the rest of us have a Carl Sagan required. impression. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. Well, but you can't play Carl Sagan. 
billions and billions of stores. That's great. Yeah. I'm <laughs> in and sold print. Okay. I am ready to bankroll I'm this. ready yes. to fight the robots. Wow. Yeah. No, it's perfect. Okay. Did everybody get somebody? Yeah, I'm yeah. Jenkins. Oh no. Yeah. I'm the Carl I'm the Sagan. robot. I no. can I look like the robot from Ex Machina? Which is like no. so hot. I, d I don't think we're allowed to do that, Dom. Can right? you look hot? Copyright? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I look hot. Forget yeah. it. The Here's the thing: right? you de <laughs> you definitely don't look like that. Oh come on! You definitely don't look like that. But okay, sure you do. <laughs> I can't believe I'm missing a die. For legal purposes, the way it works is the statement <coughs> you say quieter doesn't count. Okay, okay. Okay. If you say one thing loud and one thing quiet, by law they can only take the louder statement. That's okay, everybody so starts with one fate token. Ooh, it's a positive or a negative. Oh, nice. Heads or tails, okay, plus or minus. Oh, Binary, present or not. Hmm? Ones or zeros. All of it. So far, you're just nailing it. All of those. Left things. or right, up or down. Wow. Black or white. All right, Rachel. So, <laughs> let's, uh, let's just briefly Pick review. One, please, and let it be the one you were born as. <laughs> let's briefly review the rules. Um, here, does somebody want to? Somebody do me a favor. Pencil. Oh, we'll fold this over and put this in front of our gentle viewers at home, <coughs> so they can kind of follow along with the uh, character sheet. Do, 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 do. Can you see that, Dom? Okay. Dom, hit four. Hey, hey, hit four. Yeah. Can't believe I'm missing a dice. Looks good. Good luck, McCallie. It's awesome once you get a good group going. Good yeah. news, everybody. I've yeah, the getting line. the people together is is uh, the hard part. <clears throat> okay. Um, <coughs> so the basic uh, rule on how to do anything in the Fate system: um, pick a skill that seems applicable. Roll the four fate dice that we have here. Um, they have uh, essentially three sides uh, twice. So they have a plus, a minus, and a neutral side. So you roll them. You want to you roll, roll them in the box once and show yeah. everybody? <coughs> Boom. So you, I saw. you net everything up, OK? So that is a net of minus two. Uh, if you had rolled a plus one and a minus, that still nets out to zero, okay? So you add all that stuff up, and then you add your skill modifier. So let's say that uh, Phil Broughton was trying to, uh, he was trying to shoot a robot who had intruded on his, you know, on his lab. He's not a very good fighter, <coughs> so if he had gotten that roll of zero, then he'd add his skill modifier and uh, added plus two, he'd have plus two. So he'd have a total of plus two. Um, the a robot then typically has some sort of defense score, and you compare those two, um, and whoever comes out plus, so the, so the more, the further positive you get, the more outstanding your result. There's a ladder of results uh, yeah. that goes from like minus six or eight all the way up to plus. Um, so you have a range of uh, possibilities there. Okay. Um, if you uh, don't quite get enough to to beat the edge on what on whatever uh, thing that you're attempting to achieve, some things are just sort of a fixed DC. Some things it's an opposed roll, etc. Um, you can uh, you may have a stunt that applies. For instance, uh, some of these people have a bonus when they're doing specific things. Like that's what a stunt is. And in this particular situation, you are at an advantage to uh, to succeed. Um, uh, otherwise, you have aspects, and you can spend one of your spend one of your fate tokens to apply an aspect. So you can say, oh, you know, and then you can decide this after the result. So you can be like, oh, I only got a plus one. I was really hoping for a plus three. I'm going to spend my uh, fate token, and I'm going to compel my aspect. For instance, uh, zero to pissed off in eight seconds is one of Phil Broughton's. Uh, uh, attributes. Well, that seems very applicable to a situation where he's trying to shoot a robot who came into his lab. He pays the point. Boom. He gets to. Uh, he now gets his result. Result goes from a plus one to a plus three. So that's fantastic. The good news about aspects is they typically cut both ways. They are. Uh, hello, dead gentleman. Um, aspects are typically something that. Uh, that have a have a possible positive effect for you uh, outcome for you, or also a possible negative uh, outcome. As we can see with uh, zero pissed off in eight seconds, that could be a good thing, or in certain situations, that could be a bad thing. 
if uh, you were doing something and I say, you know what, when, you know, you're, this, this is something that kind of goes against your nature, I'm going to compel you know, one of your aspects, you have the choice between uh, accepting whatever that given circumstance is. You're just going to zero to pissed off in eight seconds. I feel like you're not going to do very good with this negotiation. Okay, I accept that. You're right. Uh, and then you can earn a fate token back, um, or you can pay one to avoid the compel. Um, so essentially, you kind of have to pay currency if I, as the game master, decide that you're going to act uh, against your essential nature. Um, so, yes, uh, the reason your total is important, if we look on the uh, right-hand side of the sheet, if you get less than your opponent, you fail, okay? You just, whatever you're trying doesn't work. You can choose to succeed at a serious cost to your character. So regardless, you know, like regardless of what the dice were, you're like, no, this needs to happen. Great, all right, I need <clears throat> to save that hostage from the crazy <clears throat> knife-wielding maniac. All right, you intervene, but there's a serious cost. Great, well, uh, you run across the room, you tackle this guy, you break the hostage loose, but you go through the window on the other side of the room, and you are now falling down the 10-story building. Hey, everybody, what's gonna happen next? That's a serious uh, cost. You succeeded, yes. but, at, at, but at almost can, no cost. And that's something that you can choose, all right? You can choose okay. to do that. And you're like, oh, I failed, guess what? There's no further die rolling, there's no further paying points, just boom, I'm gonna <clears throat> invoke a serious cost but that's typically something bad that's gonna happen yeah. for your character. Pretty awful, If yeah. you tie with your opponent, you succeed, but at a minor cost. Okay, maybe in that case you tied, um, instead of flying out the window, okay, you interpose yourself uh, with the hostage, and now, now the uh, knife-wielding maniac has his arms around your neck. That seems like a problem. Um, Disagree. If you uh, succeed at plus one or two, you succeed, but there's no special effect, you just do whatever you're trying to do. Okay, I got plus one versus him. Uh, versus his athletics or whatever, um, terrific. Then I've interposed myself and successfully uh, 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 separated the two of them, but that's it. If, you, uh, if your total is three shifts or greater versus uh, your opponent, you succeed with style. So typically what this means is not only do you achieve what you attempted to achieve, but you gain some sort of uh, advantageous Flourish. aspect. Yes. Well, you actually can create something that would uh, uh, that would help the other people in your party. Um, so, for instance, uh, if you succeed with style, uh, I, not only have you separated the two, but you have wrapped this guy's legs tight, you know, tightly with your arms, and he is struggling in place. And people would say, "Oh, we could write struggling in place as a, as an aspect on the board, and people could take advantage of it. They can invoke that for free." Uh, all right, so Invoke that's struggling in place. Yeah, struggling in place is just like a situational aspect. Okay, so oh, you can okay. create like whatever you wanted to. So it could be something it's, like. So this is a very like, storytelling heavy game. Yes, okay, very great. much so. Okay, cool. uh, Fate is definitely considered uh, <clears throat> on the story aspect, uh, story spectrum. I bet we can story. come up with something fun. I'm gonna be awful. Uh, <laughs> going to be? Oh, um, I I am currently <laughs> awful. All right, so uh, other things on your character, if you want to flip that character sheet to the other side so that people can see what else is on there. Um, stress, if you take damage, you can mitigate it by checking off a stress box equal to or greater than the shifts of damage you take. Um, so for instance, uh, if the knife-wielding maniac stabs you, <coughs> you can, and sh stabs you for uh, two shifts of damage, you have the option of checking off either the two shifts or the three shifts. Um, but once a box is full, you can't go back and fill it again, and there's no like holding over extra uh, amounts of damage. So if you get stabbed for two, and you're like, oh, my two is already full, I'm gonna check off the three. Oh, it like doesn't Yahtzee? give you an extra one. It's just like straight down, you know, those are just buckets. And once that bucket has something in it, it's full. It's okay. like Yahtzee. <clears throat> I'm not familiar. What is is that a is that a role playing game? <laughs> is that? It is a game primarily based around buckets. Buckets, okay, terrific. Yeah, it's a bucket. Uh, it's, uh, a, it's your standard bucket game. Uh, <laughs> it's the same thing with mental stress, or you can take a consequence. Now, a consequence is something that you can uh, create uh, uh, an inconvenience for your character, and depending upon how heavy the consequence is, it needs to be commensurate with the number of shifts of damage you take. So I see, I see. you could say, all right, instead of taking physical stress, I'm gonna say, oh, he broke my arm uh, with that hit. 
All right, well, great. Uh, you can write that consequence in. It's worth two shifts worth of damage. And now, whenever you try and do something, I can compel that aspect. Oh, you broke your arm. That's going to count against you. If you remember everything. Yeah, Check. good luck, buddy. Yeah, good luck, buddy. I'm going to try my um, hardest to... All right, well, we're playing a very you. simplified <laughs> version of the rules. Uh, you can get the full game at evilhat.com. You can get the full game by donating today and possibly winning it at the end of our session. Um, when, you're, when you're full on everything, if you're out of stress and out of consequences to take, guess what? You are KO'd. You are no! out, of, out of the action. Ooh. And then what? <clears throat> Well, your, your friends are going to have to figure something out in order to bring <laughs> yeah. you back. Kay. Or our friends um, in chat. Yeah, friends in chat. Uh, uh, oh, that's that right. So our friends in chat can donate. So uh, I'm not sure what our current you know uh, ladder of uh, donations are. Um, you can buy uh, some fate points for the people at the table for, what are we going for? Like, are we doing five bucks for these? Five. Yeah, five dollars for those. Um, you can buy a complete reroll. They get to reroll uh, their their results on the, of their fate dice. That's ten, ten bucks. It's it's bigger Is for it? this game, right? For, for to do a reroll. Uh, I, I I don't know if that's necessarily true. Let's say put it at five then. Five is five is kind of what we do with the other. Game. Oh okay. Three, three is All right. All right. And if somebody gets KO'd to bring them back, is somewhere on the order of. 10, Ten bucks. Yeah. All right. So <gasps> cool. That's not much. Easy breezy. Keep it flowing. Uh, remember, those low dollar amounts means <laughs> I'm incentivized to start killing characters <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah. So uh, five bucks and ten bucks. Uh, also, if you would like to follow along with the characters and some of the scenario that we've I've created today, all these materials are available at dungeonbastard.com. I believe it's the first result on the page, um, or just scroll down a little bit because uh, I haven't updated the website uh, very much since I published this. But all of these things, if you would love to try this uh, this demo scenario out, all of this stuff is available. The characters, a uh, PDF of the uh, NPCs, and a PDF of <coughs> the actual scenario itself is available at DungeonBastard.com for you to check out. Uh, you can also get uh, the rules light version of the game at EvilHat.com. So, I got a quick question. Yes, though. I was just gonna say. Um, what are these dummies doing? Not following you on Twitter at Dungeon Bastard. At Dungeon Bastard. Uh, That's right. You can follow me there. All those dumb dumb. Just right. idiots. That is all my role playing Smelly. stuff. Smelly. Complete so morons dumb. with no sex ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, figure out your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you if together. you enjoy role playing stuff, that is where I definitely keep my finger on the pulse of what I'm thinking about with RPG stuff. So. Lots of fingers on pulses. Bum, bum, bum. Keeping people alive. Okay, let's or rock just it. monitoring them. <laughs> <laughs> Doing, that's the thing. Uh, doctors first do no harm, but it also Would doesn't you like say you have to help. Sure. Um, <laughs> you can just I let somebody die right in front of you. Yeah. Eh, that's Thanks, fine. Hippocrates. All right, I'm blessing uh, the dice. More like hypocritical. Nice. Okay. I bless you, dice, for uh, many, I'm many putting, pluses. I'm putting Greek philosophers on blast. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are angry about that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Incoming transmission. Oh. Attention, Team Robo. Dr. Dinosaur has infiltrated Jesus the Christ. nation's oh. most secure, okay. most secret military installation, Area 51. Area Multiple 51. facilities on site have been compromised, and the situation isn't just grim, it's getting weird. Witnesses on the ground That's report hyperdimensional anomalies unauthorized cloning, and multiple cryptid sightings. Your job, get this situation under control. Capture or neutralize Dr. Dinosaur, lock down security breaches, and above all, do not let any classified equipment or specimens escape into non-governmental territory. You are Tesladyne's best and brightest. We have nothing but the utmost faith in your ability to contain this mess. That said, you have 20 minutes to get the situation under control or we will nuke the site from orbit. <laughs> Godspeed, Team Robo. Godspeed. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Uh, Jared, pick a number between one and six. Uh, two. Two. Ooh. Two. All right. You parachute into Area 51. Your radio crackles. Alert, unauthorized access in hardened substation Delta 5A, DARPANET exchange point zero, OPSEC compute server co compromise in progress. 
You jump into a service elevator and plunge 200 feet down a dark concrete shaft. The door opens on a domed room with a thick Faraday cage in the center. Bundles of cable the size of tree trunks circle the room and converge on the cage. The cage door hangs open and silhouetted in the glow of a dozen monitors is Dr. Dinosaur. Oh my gosh, uh, he's right there! Already? Wait, Just are we for right your there? Background information Dr. Dinosaur is a sentient, time traveling velociraptor. Wow. Obviously. He oh. is so he's the size of a Robo's chicken. nemesis, and he is out <laughs> yeah, to get the... you. Dr. Dinosaur gives a crooked grin, ticks a button on his terminal, and the security doors snap closed. Oh. He ticks he another button, right and a bank yeah. of laser finders bloom to life. <laughs> Security protocols initiated. Alarms sound and halon gas begins to flood the room. Oh my god! Da, What's da, happening? Da. Oh my god, so much just happened! So much just happened. Okay. So let's write down what is going on in this room. Am um, I happy with my Laser finders, choices. which I'm assuming so are weapons. I mean, are, yeah, they are, sound bad. Are yeah, we I'm just saying. No, I, I, the, yeah, the connotation is negative. Uh, I right. mean, let's look at it. Lasers finding. So here we are have no some control over them. They're bad. So, yeah. Aspects. This is a key part of the game. Aspects. Okay. So here's some aspects of what's going on. You are in the center of DARPAnet. Does everybody know what DARPAnet is? It's the original defense research internet, right? Yep. Okay. So that's DARPAnet. Um, DARPA also, is real. Th yes, it is. Uh, things we Wait, have it is the internet? We're in the middle of the internet? Uh, it's, it's the middle of the secret server military research internet. It's a separate internet all to itself. But we're at the server. You're at the source of it. The you are at, yeah, okay. you are at. I didn't know if like you could be in zero. the internet in this game, if that makes sense. Well, like, that does make sense, <laughs> and I'm sure you can. <laughs> also, it uh, Dr. Dinosaur is surrounded by a Faraday cage. Is that like a Tesla, like a the thing from the? Uh, the yeah, it's similar to like you know like when they put the Tesla thing in the middle and it and it zaps the the. Uh, bolts of lightning all over the okay. place, so that goes to a Faraday cage. And one of the uh, aspects or the, the, the al details or the <coughs> attributes, is the word I'm looking for, of a Faraday cage is that it kills all outside radio frequencies. So any wireless signal that attempts to go through a Faraday oh. cage hits that thing and gets dissipated. Mm. Uh, Faraday cage, it's like an impenetrable Let's turn that electronic off. Uh, mm -hmm. Or amp it up, or amp um, it up. We, we know, know that there are huge you know? bundles As a weapon. of Optical cable. We can't carry it. Never mind. Huge bundles of optical cable. Why are any of these things important? Because these are all things that you can interact with and actually have a mechanical effect apply for you or against you. As I mentioned, the room is being flooded with halon gas. Oh, no. Oh, that might kill you. Do we see you... the sources of that? Oh, it's bubbling up from the floor. Oh. You know, there's vents in the floor just. All right. Um, yeah. The and it looks kind of like dry ice, probably. Uh, <laughs> server racks. Just so we can see it. <laughs> Very cinematic. So we know what's going on. <laughs> I feel like this might be redundant, but I'm going to write it down anyway. Server racks and terminals. Uh, well, that's not redundant. And then Computers. I want to interact with that. There yeah. we go. <laughs> and that is the main thing. So um, uh, we're not, there's no like, hey, let's roll for initiative or that kind of garbage. Um, we're we're not we're not in, we're in a turn taking mood here. So if somebody <coughs> decides to be cool and then go be cool first. Do we have any? So we have humans and I'm a robot. Is anyone else a robot? Partial robot. You're partial robot. Half dragon. Okay, I'm a all human. human. Yeah. yeah the, unfortunately, they did not replace your lungs yeah. when they made you a yeah. cybernetic ape. Oh, I'm definitely holding my breath. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Smart. Well, yeah. I'd like to so notice or like. Oh, oh here she oh, goes. Just to, just to be clear, the halon uh, gas is rising from the floor up. So, so uh, it's not like immediately going to strangle you, but like you can be like, well, when it gets over head height, it's going to be a problem. Better than top down. So, can I use my mental abilities to kind of push the gas back down? All right, uh, you can certainly try that. Okay. All right. So, so I'm gonna go into like a meditative trance, pull out a banana, and take a little bite. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm trying to slow it down as much as possible. Ooh, that Ooh. is a talking ape. Cool! Oh. <laughs> I, I want to get more from this ape all of a sudden. Is that what he says, or is, is he signing it? 
Well, yeah. he signs everything while he's doing it, but I don't know. And, and the little voice okay. box. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's ape yeah. sign language. It's not yeah. real sign language. Uh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Oh, uh, um, point it at your face. Uh, so see how it clicks, sure rotates. Oh, oh shit! Just broken. You, can, you can do this, Jared. We believe You're a professional. In you. Let me it, check the it you should be able yeah. to rotate it so that it is pointing more toward your mouth. It would help if it's on. Too. That too. Number yeah. one. On Let's now. Testing, hear? testing. One, two. Hello. I don't hear anything. How about oh, middle, now? middle one. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, you're not plugged into a wire. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, you are. He's, a, he's on yellow. Is go ahead. It, this is the middle one? Oh, yeah. No, you did it. Oh, there we go. Yeah? There we go. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, it, Jared, if you could just rotate the microphone sure. so it's pointing up to your mouth without pulling on it. <clears throat> uh, do the laser finders come out of the uh, Faraday <laughs> cage? Uh, or where no, are they resonating actually, they're, from? They're, they're around actually, like, the outside of the room. They're the perimeter? Like, like that. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Beautiful. Like a bump. Oh, like shit, a I think our subway's here. Oh, oh shit, we are eating oh, subway. Chat. Oh, 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 eat fresh. Yeah. Uh, is that still a thing? You guys might be asking, is subway giving us free food because we're helping <laughs> with <laughs> Alzheimer's research and prevention? Very good question. No, they no. are not. No. No. But you know what? I bet you should tweet them and be like, hey, <laughs> you should help with this. Help support and alls. Uh, hashtag, hashtag and alls. And alls. Uh, can we hear the idea again? Yes, they didn't catch it. All right. Uh, so, yeah, small bite of uh, banana going into meditative trance. Uh, uh, I think I can slow it down a little bit if I concentrate. Yes, so uh, Big Violet is going to attempt to use her uh, telekinesis, psychokinesis. Correct. That to, is a talking uh, sh ape. Shut those vents. And I'm signing down. all of that. The mysteries yes. of science. All right, uh, so. Uh, can I see Dr. Dinosaur? I don't have a picture of well, Oh No, no, I mean, can, can my oh, character can see? See, <laughs> see Dr. Dinosaur? Uh, yes, he, well, the halon gas is obscuring the, the, some of the view into the room. But he hasn't, but like, traveled away from No, he's, he's, in. he's inside this Faraday cage, which he pushed a button to lock the door. I see, I see, okay. And yeah. he's at a, ter at a terminal. <clears throat> um, and you can see he's busy clicking away at something. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, tick, tick, my tick. first, oh, I'm going to. Velociraptor. So, so Sorry? we're going to resolve Big Violet's That's action great. and see if, if, if Big Violet can turn the halon gas off. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. or, or at least, least slow it down. Yeah. Nice. Hey. Okay, so uh, that's a net one on the dice, um, and you're applying your uh, psychokinesis yes. trait. Um, so uh, you reach out with your mind, and you just sort of telepathically probe around the room, and you can actually see like every single one of these like little little vents. grates, little, yeah. little vents. <laughs> and just with the power of your mind, you can see the little metal tooth dial. Yeah. You know, that's, and you just, nice. and they close right up. Nice. <laughs> oh, he did it! He did it! So, nice uh, or she did it. Big Violet did it. Yeah, yeah Big yeah. Violet took care of business. Yeah. Um, so not only is that a success, but you also, you succeed with style. So you can create a situational advantage that we can put on the board that's temporary Bananas for someone for to take. <laughs> oh, these are like, these are like special bananas, though. Yeah, sure. Like brain bananas. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Brain uh, how, No, no, no. Seriously, <laughs> um, uh, I would like, I would like to uh, um, flip out one of the uh, um, terminals in the hallway so that uh, it's right out there and easy to access for whoever in our group is actually good with computers. Okay. So, um, not me. And I'm, gonna, I'm from the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody good with computers? Oh, uh, the robot. Oh, of course. Well, it's I mean, like you're talking. Uh, well, electrical engineering, I guess, what that, what that might be. That. Listen, it's all the same. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you guys took the computer hacker people, did you? Maybe no, not. That so. was, uh, somebody I think might we got, be good at it. We got a lot of gun bunnies. I don't know. It was basically. Yeah, I'm actually anything. pretty good if at I driving and piloting. Then I could do a mod <laughs> so mm -hmm. hyperdimensional math. Uh, so oh yeah. So <coughs> so just one quick it's note is that you each have a mode. Um, so uh, uh, underneath your skill list, you mm -hmm. have modes, and those are sent more like sort of generalized areas of things that your character is good at. Gotcha. Some of them are completely made up and specific to your character. Um, so, oh boy. Uh, you know, action, just general action. If you don't have something that's specific to this, action is typically 
physical kind of like daring do. Uh, right. Science would be something that would obviously apply here. Uh, in your case, that's a plus two. And then banter is an action that's mode too, where I, you know, yeah. if I wanted to talk uh, Dr. Dinosaur into a, uh, a war of wits, I would use banter. Thank you. Let's, so. Let's do it. Um, all right, so you s swivel the thing, and you're going to try, and uh, the sparrow is going to try and access that computer terminal. Is that right. correct? Nice. Um, and what would you like to do? What, what is your intent if you access this thing? Um, what is my intent, guys? What do I want to do? To get it access. Um, um, break in, break in, break get in. get intel on what he's doing. Do yeah. That. Okay. Yeah, great. maybe what what he's targeting because he's <laughs> looking he's for items to steal. That is very. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's roll the dice. Uh, you're going to add plus Thank two you, unless you want to spend a fake uh, token to uh, enhance your results. But you can decide that after the results. I think it. Roll, I think it like. let's, <laughs> since this is a prize book, let's move this so it doesn't get. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to get that all. It's like Hasbro for Is it really? Hasbro. Hasbro sandwiches? No, like Hasbro. Game company? I got two. Yeah, oh, here's the thing. Did they, did they buy us sandwiches? Well, Hasbro makes a lot more than just games and toys. They make sandwiches. <laughs> they make pop tarts. <laughs> they make oh man, wow. stuff like that. Just all of the things in the list I just gave you. They make all those things. You um, could go on, I'm sure. I could go <laughs> on for a while. Okay, so that's a net wash. Plus, uh, oh, two, two, two neutrals. All right, so mm -hmm. you're at plus two on the roll. You're at plus two for science. That's plus four shifts. Um, this is a difficult system to uh, access because it is the uh, security center of the uh, dark military internet. So it is, uh, you're failing by one at this point. Oh no! So you can, uh, she's gonna, mm -hmm. All right, so which aspect of yours are you going to invoke? Let's see. Um, what I would like to use my keen, let me just spit. Mm -hmm. Inquisitive mind. Keen inquisitive mind. That's great. All right. Yes. Uh, very good. So, uh, although sh the sparrow runs a uh, around the room to this terminal that you slowly swiveled around, and uh, <laughs> the the screen comes up, the operating system comes up, and she goes, "I know this. This is Unix." <laughs> <laughs> and then we I'm zoom in. Painfully slow onto the Area 51 compound, and then painfully slow into the uh, hardened substation Delta 5A, and then painfully slow into Node Zero, and click. Mm, and you can tell that Dr. Dinosaur is uploading something. It's porn. Da da da. I'm just kidding. It's Dino porn. <laughs> yep. There you go. All right. But that means he created it if he's uploading it. Yeah. All right. So I am going to use all the optical wires. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to attach that to center of the DARPA net. Mm, evil times. All right. Who else would like to go? I would like to go. I would like to go. I would like to go. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh. I am you. I am also you. You can't prove I'm not you. I need a mirror. Uh oh. <laughs> this is the downfall to being artificial and intelligent. <laughs> oh, no. I know you exist, but I cannot see it. I just know. <laughs> um, okay, I am going to obstruct the bundles of optical cable. And um, hopefully I have, like, like I'm, I'm basically a Swiss Army robot, right? Like, shit can just come out of me. If I want some blades, <laughs> blades, right? Uh, canonically, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, basically, then, then with my massive strength and uh, ability, I would love to <coughs> rip off, start ripping off bundles of the optical cable from the that is extremely atomic robo. Yes. Okay. The, the, the atomic robo is known for two things. Number one, being bulletproof or okay. proof to almost you know any kind of like standard conventional weaponry. Um, and then number fire two, fire away, fire away. <laughs> Uh, that, never, that song plays all the time in the book, right? Yeah. <laughs> like at the top, it's written. Yeah. No. When you when you actually go to the site, it's a MIDI file. Nice. That gets loaded on um, the very first time. Perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, absolutely, Atomic Robo. This is a very Atomic Robo thing to do. So okay. there's. I'm know, glad I'm in. Literally character. tree trunk sized bundles um, that that all seem to kind of converge here. Um, some of them are going into the floor space underneath the cage itself. Okay, so I want to do two things. I want to I want to start with I want to see if I can determine which cable is the most resourceful to this Dr. Dinosaur and then rip it apart. 
Uh -huh. Can I okay. do that? Okay, okay. so um, my, I guess that's maybe electrical engineering. Yeah, yeah. or that's electrical oh, yeah. engineering. Okay, so okay. I, this is just to determine if I know which one is, is like pretty. Well, let's put it this way. It's not gonna be an issue to rip this bundle of cable out. It's gonna be the issue of did you pick the right one? So let's make this an electrical air engineering check in general. Okay, great. All right. Ah, ooh, ooh so that's, that's a one. that's a minus one, and I have two, so I'm at plus. You're at plus one. one. Yep. All right. So, uh, given how much cable is coming in here, that is not enough to succeed at this point. Okay. Uh, does not compute which cable I should pull out. Can pull out cable. Do not know which one. Yikes! Yikes! All right, why, very why good. Are so, you so, uh, angry? so you you fail at your action. Okay. Um, you do rip out a huge swath of cable, but Great. The, you look down the end and you're like, not that one. <laughs> Whoopsies! Try that. Nope. I think also no. Nothing is happening. I'm fucking myself. <laughs> <laughs> very good. All right. Uh, Jenkins, you have not gone. Also, we have not heard. Who are you playing down in the end, Tyler? Carl Sagan. Carl, oh, yeah, we have not heard from Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan's Sagan very busy eating. Yeah. 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 That's Carl Sagan's um, legit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. That was amazing. From Three Point Land. <laughs> yeah. He hits it. That was like a backhand. Oh, nice. fuck yeah. Um, yeah, oh boy, this is this is not exactly in my wheelhouse. I am real good at punching things and driving things and okay. shooting things. Uh, keep in mind that the security lasers are... <laughs> oh. oh, well then for sure I'm going to pull my weapon and shoot the lasers. All right, nice. Um, yeah, okay, so that's combat roll, right? Uh, yes, yes, that is a combat roll. Um, okay, so... Zero. Zero, but so, your combat but plus is five. plus five. Yeah. Not bad. So, uh, Pretty good. Good news for you, Jenkins. You just like, <laughs> <laughs> and all of these ladies just like one after, <laughs> one after another, as, as if you were throwing a stack of nickels into the air and they're just casually shooting Thomas Jefferson in the face. Bam, 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 bam. The security My character lasers are hates down Thomas Jefferson. One by one. The security lasers and the gas, we are killing it. Yes, <laughs> killing uh, it. No thanks to me. It. <clears throat> okay. Carl can I see? Can I see Doctor uh, Dinosaur? Uh, yes, of course you can. I can actually physically lay eyes on him. Yes. Okay, I'm going to raise up my turtleneck, approach Doctor Dinosaur, uh -huh. and say, Doctor Dinosaur, <laughs> we are friends. Oh. Your existence is a miracle of science. We are all miracles. Let us help you, Doctor Dinosaur. Please, how can we help you go through whatever trauma it is that you're experiencing? Uploading dino. And I'll approach him, hands out, gentle, nope. soft, Carl Sagany hair there's flapping a, sideways. A cage between the two. I will get as close as I can to him okay. without uh, endangering myself. And please, right. Dr. Dinosaur, we are all stardust. You are stardust. <laughs> we are the same. Please, let us help you. Okay. Pretty good. That's what I do. All right, very good. <coughs> and you're trying to get him to open the door? I'm trying to, I'm trying to empathize with okay. his plight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that we may come together as members of the species of the Earth existence. Mm. I was going to say human race, but uh, that's uh, not, that's, we are, we are all one. We are, all, there is a oneness here. Okay. <coughs> Perhaps um. you know me, I'm Carl Sagan, <laughs> noted TV <laughs> personality. <laughs> They're latching onto the dino porn thing. <laughs> Real hard. I'm delivering like a tear jerking monologue <laughs> to talking about the the oneness of humanity and just life on Earth. <laughs> and they're fucking talking about dinosaur porn. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Okay. Oh, you guys deserve it. <laughs> Perfect. So this is gonna be an opposed role. because um, mm. he's going to try and resist your overture. Oh good luck. As it were. You are trying to be dinosaur. Uh, what would this be uh, yeah. then? Empathy? Or will? Or uh, will? Uh, Mental I'm fortitude. Is, mm, or rapport. Hmm. Rapport sounds appropriate. Rapport. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good luck beating me, Doctor Dinosaur. Oh. No. Nope. Are you it. tied? So, plus one, plus four, uh, uh, plus five. You got a plus five. Uh, I got a total of plus four, so you are succeeding by one. Mm -hmm. um, you're not succeeding with style, but you are succeeding. Mm -hmm. He's enthralled by your <clears throat> sultry tones. Dr. Dinosaur, <laughs> if you can, 
talk to me. <laughs> All right, and so ticka 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 ticka, Dr. Dinosaur kind of like. Mm. <laughs> now I regret calling in those security war bots. And all of a sudden you hear as steel doors open up. Kachung, kachung, kachung. Whoa! And three warbots. <clears throat> intruders, intruders. Dr. Dinosaur, you can stop this. <laughs> we are all friends. The robots are friends. We are friends. We are all one. Oneness, stardust. <laughs> all right, the three warbots trundle into the Our room and uh, begin uh, <laughs> firing their PPC rifles at you. All right. Wow. Uh, so let's see. Two of you are not going to get attacked. Uh, let's see. Uh, the first three people that Jenkins I roll probably looks like a threat that I roll pluses on. So uh, not you, uh, not you, not you. We're gonna go back around the table. Jenkins, of yep. course. Not you. Back around the table. Mm, you. So the two of you. Yes. One more. I'm glad I'm taking. All right. Time. So oh. Carl Sagan. Oh. Wow. Beloved and host, you see Dr. Silent Dinosaur turn, and skeptic. turn. Dr. Dinosaur turns and you see maybe momentarily just <coughs> like a little glimmer of, oh, oh, he might shed a tear. <laughs> oh, he's a dinosaur. He doesn't I'm have tear him, ducts. Guys. That's been scientifically proven. I'm sure of it. I'm 100% sure of <laughs> yeah, all, yeah. all the facts and science that have gone into this scenario. Um, so, uh, the standard warbot uh, fires on uh, Atomic Robo. Okay. Uh, it is a combat roll. No and question. Do I roll combat? <coughs> you roll to defend. So uh, you defend with whatever mode you think is most appropriate. Typically it's combat, yes. Um, okay, uh, skill is a combat, a uh, mode is action. Does that matter? Uh, combat Combat's is, better. is gonna trump that, yeah. Okay, so so, so here's, the, here's the thing. If you wanna try something that seems action-y, but you don't have the specific skill that seems to apply, mm. then uh, you can use your action mode instead. Okay. So your modes are sort of like a fallback catch-all umbrella for other things that you might wanna try that you might be somewhat adept at. Okay. Okay. So for instance, you might not be very good at running and jumping, which is typically like an athletics type of thing, mm -hmm. but you could use your action because that's okay. an action suite of power. So it's that sort of thing. Just like right. she's not specifically great <coughs> at hacking, but she made it. She has, she used her science mode in order to help her hack that terminal. So. Okay. <clears throat> All right, combat. Ooh, nice. plus two. So I'm plus seven. Plus seven. Uh, you cannot uh, get me. I am better than you. Good right. luck, Let's robot. I can. Oh, oh no, fail. no, super massive fail. They All right, so shoot each other. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so, so um, well, there's no critical fails uh. in this. Um, <coughs> it's like when you fail, you just fail spectacularly. If you, uh, you could choose to succeed at cost. But uh, yeah, so uh, the warbot you know shoots at you, but you're you're atomic robo. You're yeah. Just like, pew, 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 pew. Uh, and you do a robot. Line. I I catch it in my I catch each bullet in my hand <laughs> and dump it on drop it on the ground. Ha, 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 and I laugh the whole time. Ha, 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 ha. All right. <laughs> All right. The next robot one uh, at. shoots at Jenkins. Oh, Jenkins! I feel like you're gonna be able to. Uh, Jenkins not gonna have any problem with this. Gonna be able. To, <laughs> these are standard warbots. <laughs> All right, I'm at a total of six for me. Four plus one is five. Ooh, I only one by one. Oh, all right. So uh, you narrowly managed to dodge the uh, automated gunfire of the PPC rifle. Oh, that's right. Meat target acquired. And then it and the last warbot zooms in uh, on Carl Sagan. Oh, no. This is going to be This ugly. is not ideal. <laughs> robot, and, please. <laughs> I'm famous. And, and, and you just hear it go target identified, established protocol 35A, executing. Sorry, daddy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, this is uh, that right? is not particularly. Yeah. Yeah. Plus uh, combat. Particularly Ooh, great. Uh, he got a total of three. Nice. Yeah, a total of four. A total of Ooh, four. All yes. right. So you managed to duck down. <laughs> choo, 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 choo. <coughs> all right. I flip on my hydraulic actuators and backflip away. Oh, all right. Yeah. You, so yeah, you have like a like a uh, essentially like a exoskeleton type yes. of thing that you're mm. uh, oh, that wow. you're equipped with. The turtleneck goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, you have momentarily uh, uh, stumped Dr. Dinosaur with your, uh, with your speech uh, mm -hmm. appealing to his uh, rap 
termanity? I don't know how you describe that. Um, <clears throat> Dr. Dinosaur's got to be part human. However, whatever he has begun uploading <coughs> continues. Do you see the progress bar? Like, doot, doot, doot. I mean, it might get to 99% and hang. That porn, that porn is going to go viral. <laughs> we have to stop it. God. Dinosaur. Don't let that dino porn get out into the world. Who knows what dinosaurs will think of to do to each other. It will destroy our economy. All right, so the halon gas that. is off the table. Um, the yes! security cameras, did I put that on there? Nope, but okay. I shot them up. Good enough. Mm -hmm. All right, um, so who would war like... Warbots, you should probably put warbots on Who would on like to... Oh, you're right, I should put warbots mm -hmm. on there. Please. I'm just saying, I got an idea of what I'm going to do next, and I might have something to do with war bots. <laughs>